Hey everybody, Mike here with everythingaboutconcrete.com. Today's video, we're pouring a concrete pool deck. This is a real big one, guys. So, hey, and stick around for the second half of the video where you're going to see how we use a special kind of concrete truck to reach the back side of the pool. So now what I'm doing is I'm obviously I'm just backing the truck in. This is the first truck. This is about 6.30 in the morning. Nice sunny dry day out. It's probably about 55 degrees right now. No chance of rain. We never chance pouring concrete outside if it's going to rain. So we're doing this pool deck in two pours. Uh, normally we do it in one, but because we're buttoned up against this large house, it's going to be easier to, to finish this with a broom finish if we do it in two. So that's why we broke this in kind of two, ha two halves. You can see we had to use a pretty long chute to reach that back corner. That was like 45 feet to that back corner. Now what I'm doing is I'm using my laser, my Topcon laser. Uh, the RLH5B is my favorite one. Any of these tools you'll see, guys, I'll have links down in the description if you're interested. You can check them out. So I'm, I'm making a wet pad. That, that concrete pitches slightly away from the pool. It pitches towards the outside and towards the house. And we put a deck drain up against the house. I'll show you that a little bit later in the video. So the water runs into that deck drain and then runs to the outside. But we're just striking our wet pad there. We wet screed a lot. And now what we're doing is we're wet screeding down these these two bays. You can see I got a five man crew here today. A lot of times there's just three of us. So I got a couple extra guys helping us on this one today. Look at those two bays straight edged. That's me there running the bull float over it. Whoever your bull float guy is wants to do a really good job bull floating. When you do anything exterior like this, then you have to finish by hand. So what we're going to do later on is we're going to get on this and we're going to mag it out and then we'll room it. So if you get a really good bull float job, it just makes that process a lot easier. So I'm really taking my time, making sure all the rock holes are filled in, all the straight edge marks are filled in. I'm not leaving hardly any lines with the bull float. So it's going to make this thing real easy to mag when it gets ready. The other guys are getting the rest of it poured out. It took two trucks on this first pour. So we like to dump that first one right out and get it out of there and get it back to the concrete plant. And then we can take a little bit more time on that second truck if we need to. This pool has a as a fiberglass coping on it so we didn't have to form up anything around the pool we just did the forms on the outside yeah we get that first truck all straight edged I'm finishing up the bull floating guys mixing up the creek for the second load we're using a 4000 psi mix we use that on all of our exterior concrete here it has air entrainment in it because we have a lot of freeze thaw cycles and we have fiber mesh in there also as you can see there's a rebar mat in there so we get a double reinforcement plus the two inches of styrofoam under it and that, what that's for is here in Maine you know because we have so many freeze thaw cycles we don't want the ground to heave under this pool deck move it and the star, two inches of styrofoam really insulate the ground and they don't let the frost go down through the concrete so the two inches of styrofoam work really good for a lot of our exterior concrete projects. Yeah, we're finishing up straight edge in that last bay. This probably took us about 30 minutes or so to pour this. And it's it's sunny out today. It's it's there's a little bit of wind too. So it's really warm there in that corner, right where I'm bull floating. It's not going to take long for this concrete to dry before we have to get back on it. Yeah, so we had a little bit of concrete left in that second truck. So what I'm doing is 
system setting the ladder for the second floor. We like to make sure it's all set and in place. Those couplings that hold that ladder need to be perfect, they need to be square. We like to set them right flush. So we ran a string to make sure they were right flush. So we just put a little concrete, extra, that extra concrete under that ladder and we're getting it set. So when we do pour that second half, we don't have to touch it. Yeah, this was probably a half hour after we got done pouring. Um, that wall back there was really warm over there. So that concrete's ready to go. So we got Darren and Luke on there with their knee boards, magging it out. And I'm pulling that first pass with the broom up against that wall. So you can see why we didn't pour it all at once because it makes it easy to broom if I can pull it this way instead of towards the house. That's 21 feet wide. So I would have hit that house trying to pull it the other way with those bowflow handles. Now I am going to have to go over there instead of going in the pool and do some of it from that side. But it made the majority of it real easy to broom. So over here from this side, from that patio, I can pull it as far as I can with, until I hit the house and then I have to stop and use a shorter handle to finish that pass. And we're just about finished up getting the broom on this side. We broom texture probably the majority of our pool decks. Sometimes we'll stamp them. But a broom finished pool like this Concrete labor forming, you know, the rebar, the styrofoam, everything all said and done is about nine to ten bucks a square foot. That's about the cost. Of so, this is the truck we needed to reach the other side of the pool. This is what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Hey guys, just real quick, if if you guys are new to this channel, you don't know me, my name's Mike Day, and I own Day's Concrete Floors Incorporated, and uh, this is my channel, it's all about concrete work, I'm teaching you guys just what we do, we do a lot of concrete floors, a lot of concrete slabs, obviously some pool decks, um, we do a lot of epoxy work, we do a lot of stamped concrete, a lot of concrete repair, so if that's the kind of stuff you like, you know, go ahead down there and hit subscribe. Hit the little bell notification too while you're down there because I come out with a couple videos a week about this and that'll just notify you whenever I come out with a new video. I've also got an email list down there, a link to my email list, so I send out a lot of different things through email too. If, if you want to get those other things, subscribe to my email list and then my also my Instagram and my Facebook page are down there too. Go ahead and, go ahead and subscribe to those. And I'm coming out with a little different content, some different pictures on that stuff. So we got that first truck done. We got the conveyor truck all poured out. He did about half of that. Made it nice and easy. Put the concrete right, right where we needed it. Now the rest of this we can just reach for the chute. Where we started with a conveyor truck, that was about 15 feet wide. This part here is about 10 feet wide. And then as we turn the corner there, that part's about 11 feet wide. This is a really big pool deck compared to most. It's about, I think it was around 2,700 square feet. The pool is 20 by 40. It took 32 yards to do this whole pool. So we poured the first part early in the morning, like at 6.30. and got done about 10.30, 11. And then that second truck showed up around 11.30. And I think we were all said and done, all broomed and mag broomed and out of there by about 2.30 in the afternoon. So now we're coming down this second part. All three of us are on there magging this because it's warmer. The wind is blowing a little bit. And it's not going to take long for this to dry. So we got to get from one end to the other in a relatively short amount of time. So we got all three of us out there. One guy brooming, one guy putting the finished edger mark on there. Those those knee pads, those concrete skids that we're using, man, we use those every day. 
there's a link down there in the description form. If, if you're in the concrete business and you're still using something other than those, I would recommend getting a pair of those and trying them. They're a little over 100 bucks, but they last forever. They'll last for, for years if you take care of them. You can see how nice and light that broom finish is. That's a three foot broom. Sometimes we'll use a two foot one too, but this one we got out the three footer. Those bolts you see sticking out of the concrete there, that's for a diving board. So we had to set those and make sure they were perfectly square to the pool. Uh, they had to be sticking out a certain amount of distance and they had to be 32 inches back from the pool for that diving board to be installed correctly. You can see he's washing out the bristles. Every two or three passes he makes with that broom, it, they pick up some of the paste. And if you don't wash them out, it leaves like these funny little concrete balls on the surface and it just doesn't look good and then you got to scrape them off after. But if you keep those bristles nice and clean and just a little bit damp, it gives you a nice clean broom finish. Hey, okay, we're getting down to the the last part of the deck. And you'll see here that that little that little pool house there where he, where the guy keeps his pool pump it's it's kind of shedding a little shade on the concrete so where Luke's magging up against the pool right now that's in the Sun that's drying really good but the pot in the shade isn't so we had to figure out okay we got to broom that little part in the Sun but not the pot in the shade we had to let the shade pot sit for about another half an hour so well, that's what Darren's doing now he's broomed that pot in the Sun and then we went back in about a half hour mag the shade out and broom that part and now we're just finishing up the last part. You, as you can see, this is a really big pool deck. These guys are going to have to put a lot of patio furniture on this thing. There, I'm blending in the sun and the shade right there. Trying to make it all look the same. And now we're getting down to the last part. I got one last piece I got to get. And you can see we had to go underneath those things there to make it a nice straight room finish. Well that's it guys. 